The 505 press up is not only a great way to help improve your technique because of that element of control, but it's also a very good way of putting more strain and pressure on the chest and triceps without having to add any resistance that you may not have access to at home. So to set the press up, you're gonna have your hands roughly shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Now, if you can do press ups on your feet as opposed to being on your knees, then what you're gonna have to really focus on is on contracting your glutes as hard as you can because that prevents you from going into an excessive arch in your lumbar spine. At the same time, you don't want a rounded back posture. So again, just keeping the glutes contracted will help with that. So in this position, you're going to make sure that your elbows are going to bend inward towards your body instead of out into a T-shape. That's really important because you don't want to put any excessive pressure on the shoulders. We're trying to develop the triceps and the chest here. So effectively, you want to perform the press up with a arrow technique. You can see the position that my arms are in now form effectively an arrow shape with the rest of my body. I'm not necessarily tucking them all the way into my rib cage. The angle is approximately 45 degrees to my body. So with my hands roughly shoulder width apart, my glutes clenched as hard as I can clench them. I'm gonna lower myself under five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now if you find that really difficult, even for one or two reps, then the regression is to do these on your knees. Now, when I mean on your knees, I'm not referring to this quadruped position that most people are familiar with. It's very important that you maintain a straight line from the knee through to the hip and the shoulder. So instead of being here, walk your knees back slightly. Again, engage your glutes as hard as you can to maintain good posture. Five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one.